Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Tech Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to move, rotate, and align objects in 3D designing in Tinkercad. So I have a cube and a cylinder here, and I'm just going to show you how you can first uh, move them anywhere about the work plane along the X, Y, and Z axis. So if you want to move an object, one of the more simple ways is to just literally click uh, and drag on the object. So if I left click and hold, I could drag it pretty much anywhere about the work plane, and that's true for uh, any object. Now, if I wanted to move this object uh, off of the work plane, let's say I wanted to elevate it on top of something. When you click on an object, there is this little uh, black triangle. I'm going to shift it over so we can see it. There's this little black triangle up top, and that allows you to move your object off of the work plane. So if I go here and I left click and hold on top of it, as I drag up, I can now elevate it off of the work plane. And you can see the little uh, box in the bottom right corner it says it's 10 millimeters off of my work plane right now. So again, if you look at the tutorial for uh, editing your grid and your snap value, you can determine how specific of a height off of the work plane you would like to go. Um, again, you can also click inside there too if you needed a specific measurement, let's say 20 millimeters off the work plane, you could type that in and hit enter and you can move it that way. Another thing you can do is you can rotate objects. So when you click on an object, I'm going to get rid of my cube for a second. When you click on an object, you have uh, arrows all around, and that allows you to rotate an object, again, along a specific axis. So for one, I could rotate it right this way. Now when it's a cylinder, you're not going to see too much. Uh, if I click on it again, right, and that little circle will show you which direction it's going to rotate. I can rotate it this way. Now also, if you keep the cursor inside the circle, it snaps at 22 and a half degree increments, which may be easy if you're trying to just rotate something 90 degrees. If you need something more specific, you can just move your cursor outside of the circle, and now you can see I can rotate by individual degrees. All right, and again, depending on which way you view your object will allow you to uh, control the direction that it rotates. Okay, so I want to align these two objects. Now, you can do this with any objects where if you want to line them all uh, parallel to each other or directly in a line or one on top of the other, you can use the align tool. So let's say I want to put this cylinder directly on top of this cube dead center. I know my cube is a 20 millimeter cube. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up my cylinder 20 millimeters and hit enter. Now again, trying to just drag this on top and align it is going to be a little tough. So I'm going to left click, hold, and drag over both objects. And I'm going to come up top here and I'm going to hit align. And now all these dots appear around the objects. Now, the, if you put your cursor over one of the dots, you can get a preview as far as where they're going to meet up. So you can see that this dot here in the middle lines up the cylinder and the cube. All right. Almost oh, pretty good, right? Left to right, it's center. But if I rotate around, you can see that my cylinder is still hanging off. So I have to do maybe one more click. So I'm going to come over to this view. Let's try this one. And that looks pretty good. So now you can see my cylinder, if I rotate all around, is dead center on top of my cube, which is pretty good. Now, if you wanted to make this all then one solid object, I can left click and drag over them again. And I can come up to the top here and I can click group. And you can see now it made it all one color. So if I were to move this object to change the size, it's now all one object. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to click subscribe below and turn on notifications. And also follow us on Instagram at quick underscore tech underscore tutorials to stay updated on any new tutorials we post.